Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 66 in Chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So we look at the system. We have ice. The ice is in these dimensions. It is given, right? So the L, the length, the widest, and the heat. So this is a cubic. And then tell you the mass of the ice. And the ice will melt at zero degree, and when it is placed in a surrounding, the surrounding, the environment temperature is thirty four centigrade, and then tell us there it's covered by a plastic cover, right? And then ask you how much take for the ice to melt. So now question, when this ice will melt? It must reach to the melting temperature, zero degree, right? So when the ice is melting, the temperature is zero degree, and the outside is a forty, thirty-four degree. So it looks like there must be the heat transferred from the environment into the ice. Do you agree? Yes. And this energy transferred from the environment into the ice just equal to the energy needed for ice to melt. Agree? Yes, because energy is conserved, right? So in this case, we can write the conduction equations. You can see the conduction equations tell us how the energy transferred from the environment to the ice. This is a Q over T. This is a right of the energy loss from the environment, right? Equal to Ka divided by L times delta T. Agree? The delta T is the temperature difference, so we can get it there. This two one, the K is a constant, no problems. L is a thickness, so it tell us the thickness. This covers the thickness is just a one point five centimeter. You write it there. Next one, the A is a surface for this ice, so you can get it there because it's a cubic. You can do this a simple calculation. Agree? So it looks like as a right hand, as a right hand for this equation, all the quantity is given. Next one, we need to find T. So it looks like we need to get the Q. Q is the energy loss. We just talk about the energy loss from environment is energy gained by the ice, and this energy will make the ice melt, right? So this is the ice fueling energy. So use the mass of the ice times the fueling constant. Agree? Yes. So in this case, you can see we can write the equation for the time t. For the time t, you write it as Q L divided by K A dot T. No problems. From this equation, you get a function for t, right? And then you input the q inside. You get the answer. You get a function. Look like this one. And in this function, just input all the quantities. Get the answer there. Thank you.